What is going on, YouTube? We are back reacting to 10 times the F1 qualifying got heated. If you guys know, I just got into F1, so a lot of these things I don't even know what the fuck was happening. Like, these cars look goofy as fuck and compared to what they look like now. But we're gonna watch this. It looks like they're on intermediates. Like, it looks like they have Tourette on these tires. It doesn't look like it's raining, so I don't know why they would have. What, uh, going on, I mean, it could just be, like, yeah, they have, like, Tourette and shit on there. Obviously, this is 2019. I mean, this is 2019. They have slicks here. The Halos are on here too. So yeah, these are like when they started started being normalized the way they are now. I think I remember this. There are four seconds. You guys seen this clip? Two and one, and I don't think they've made it. They've not made it. Charles Leclerc's on pole at Monza. Ferrari have done it, but what a complete shambles that final run in Q3 was. I remember that nobody wanted to go. Waiting for someone to blink, and in the end, they had their eyes closed for far too long. I remember that. With this, this timing that we have, the system we have, where everyone backs up, everyone's trying to get a position. They you know, timed us out. They basically timed us out. So it's interesting. Get pole position in the first round and then just time everyone out. Dark clouds gathered on Saturday morning. So most drivers... That's a four. This is old. Pre-qualifying run. So they could complete their qualifying lap before the... Oh yeah, like, look at the tread. Maybe that's how slicks were back then? I don't know. I just went out. Look how goofy those cars look in comparison to the way they do now. The thing looks like it looks so small and boxy. Like imagine that car racing the cars we have now. That car would probably get slammed. Let me tell you what's happening. McLaren had asked Hamilton to let Alonso through in the final part of qualifying. However, he failed to let Fernando pass, despite requests from the team and the obvious anger of his teammate. Alonso pitted for fresh tyres. The lollipop was raised, and Fernando remained where he was for a further 10 seconds. Is that a bit of a tactic within the team there to give Hamilton a bit of a headache? That's I a... think it might well be. That's really, really. That's, really That's far. To you now, Chubb. Checkered flag and Hamilton's missed it. Hamilton's missed it by four seconds, so he is not going to get a laugh in. Alonso just made it through. Meanwhile, Alonso <laughs> it's in, the in the middle sector. Is he going to take provisional pole position on this very controversial day? Yes, he does. That's fault. Some serious words in the McLaren garage. I think the calculation was wrong because my teammate didn't complete the lap and I crossed the line with two or three seconds. So it was really, really tight. And, uh, you know, these things unfortunately happened today to us. After much deliberation, Alonso was stripped of his pole position and relegated to sixth. And the team would score no constructors points for this race. Oh, shit. He didn't even get the position. Uh, I think it's his turn to go on this, this one, please. So tell him to speed up. Okay, mate, you need to pick it up, otherwise we're not going to get another lap. Let's go. There's no point in me running. Get on with it. Punching a hole. Get on with it. Let's at least go one for one. We'll get to go on the next one. GP, what's going on? Overtake it, mate. Just overtake it. No. Last week I was in front, now he's in front. Come on, man. Max, overtake it, mate. No. It's discipline. I guess we're not going one for one. Okay, we got 15 seconds margin. This is how it goes. You've got to get lapping, mate. So basically, I'm giving a toe to everyone, including my teammate. And if we have three runs, at least let me get one run where I'm getting a toe. And uh, they said we would, and it didn't happen. So not that happy right now. Every single weekend, you swap around. So last weekend, I was all the runs in front. So then it's this weekend, of course, his job to do that. And uh, he was also running a bit more downforce. So of course, he was hoping to take both advantages. But um, you know, it's just how the team works. It's, uh, it's very simple, very easy. Michael Schumacher's weekend did not start. Oh! Incident on Saturday morning not only lost him. 1999. But also put his race car out of action. Cars look so different. But as is typical of the man, he was straight on the pace during the qualifying session. The Ferrari particularly suited to this circuit. Oh my God! Look at that car. <laughs> Controversy lay ahead. Uh, yeah, I definitely would have been into F1. I mean, I was literally born in 99. Like, I would have been able to watch these things. But... 
it was everything under control. To be honest, I would be surprised if it stays uh, the order as it is now because yellow flags is yellow flags and uh, we'll see what happens later. Mika Hakkinen's lap was allowed to stand and he kept pole position. That anime? Fire. You guys haven't seen it? Watch it. That shit's gas. The British Grand Prix saw Red Bull bring an upgrade of front wing to this weekend's event, but a failure in practice on Sebastian Vettel's car mean they had only one left remaining for the weekend, and on Mark Webber's car. However, before qualifying it was decided that it would be moved from Webber's to Vettel's car, who went on to narrowly take pole position over his teammate. This afternoon, although Sebastian's wing fell off, it was you, Sebastian, who got the one version of the new front wing. Can you both comment on what you feel about that? I think the team is happy with the result today. I mean, obviously, you know, from the outside it's quite uh, difficult to judge sometimes what's going on, so we know what we're doing, I think. He gets pissed. <laughs> He's Schumacher pissed. Fernando Alonso go uh, side by side. Schumacher looking across at the man who took his crown off him. These two have done this quite a few times before. They have virtually a Grand Prix start, the two of them, side by side. And there's a real niggle as to who's going to lead the way. It's a matter of sort of macho pride between the two of them. Isn't it? And Michael Schumacher goes up the inside of Alonso <laughs> down at the hairpin. So Alonso's electric getaway in the pit lane did him no good whatsoever because he was caught napping. Now he's going to come back at him. What on earth is going on, boys? Oh, they're fighting. They're out there to burn fuel off. They're fighting. Yeah, Alonso's been racing forever, bro. I guess a lot of these people have been racing for a long time. Look how his body goes down inside the car when he hits the brakes hard. And uh, Michael was getting ready to turn in as well. They're having some fun, aren't they? Yeah, they're having fun. In Monaco, grid position is I hate this if fucking track, bro. To overtake a front row start can be vital for victory. The seconds count down, and provisional pole sitter Michael is on his final run. What's going on? Well, whatever it is, the waved yellow flags ensure Alonso has no chance of setting pole position. I just think it's cheap for the sport, and, and somebody is prepared to do cheap things like that should really consider if he's in the right sport, you know? Maybe he should do something. I think the time has come, he should do something else. Um, I'm there for many, many years, and uh, people <laughs> should know better who I am and what I am after all these years. All the talk is about Michael Schumacher's parking miss. I don't know if he would have... Start from the uh. lane after his overnight penalty. You got penalized for that? I guess they could probably prove it was on purpose or not. Oh, that's too deep. That's too deep. And that's Rosberg's qualifying over and done with. He's on provisional uh, uh, pole. You can't get it out of there. It's too tight to do a Yui in there or a six-point turn you need. But if the yellow flags stay out there with 20 seconds to go and his teammate comes through, Martin, yeah. under yellow flags, that mistake from Nico Rosberg might just bag him the that's pole fucked. position here. What of Lewis Hamilton then? Let's off. pick him up now. Backed off. Backed off through the yellow. So it's Rosberg who makes the mistake, pushing hard on his final lap, and it's a mistake that in the end means his teammate can't snatch pole away from him. Rosberg created his own pole position and spoiled our fun. Nico's mistake, ironically, and the subsequent yellow flags meant that you couldn't improve on your lap, your feelings. Yeah, it is ironic. Um, but uh, that was okay. And look how young he looks. So, it's okay. Hey, he looks young as fuck. The Italian Grand Prix brought more control. Italian Grand Prix. Alonso had his three Alonso's been in this fucking. Alonso's been in a lot of these videos. Impeding Felipe Massa during his final run in Q3. Alonso got his penalty, although the stewards conceded he may not have done it deliberately. And I need my luck. It's not blocking anyone intentionally. And only because I love the sport. What happened? A lot of fans coming in here. A lot of them from Spain. And. Uh, I don't consider any more Formula 1 like a sport. I'm confused, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like. Let me know what your favorite part of the video You guys already know the drill, yo. If you happy to be new, subscribe. 84% of you guys watch the videos, don't subscribe. Let's get it on about 70. And you guys already know. Peace, love, and some motherfucking chicken crease, baby. Peace.